CCTV is a really important issue today because the UK is one of the most observed countries in the world. CCTV cameras are popping up everywhere. It affects everybody. Good morning, everybody. Welcome today to our workshop on CCTV. We're getting everybody together so we can brainstorm the key issues it's to feed into potential new standards that we might develop. And it's also to help the surveillance camera commissioner look at the bigger picture. I hope that we get a clear view as to what manufacturers, users and installers want. Once we've got the clear view, it's my mission to start shaping the industry so that we can deliver that. I cannot stress uh, strongly enough the importance in this industry of maintaining a benign operating environment. If we can start to develop a streamlined process, if we can start to improve and increase the transparency, effectiveness and openness of our business, then actually we've achieved something. If you could work by table, um, in small breakout groups, that would be great. And then report back to the group um, on sort of the key um, issues you've been discussing. The first thing to be considered is the requirements of the system. And this is from the installer's or manufacturer's point of view. No point having all these fantastic cameras if you don't have suitably qualified controllers yep. and enough of them to operate the system to do what it's supposed to be there for. It's always good to network and hear others' opinions. To understand what the legislation means and the changes that are coming is very useful. I think we have finance down as, as being a, an issue, not only getting the money in the first place, but keeping them up to date and sort of regular investment to actually sort of keep things moving. I'm hoping we'll get an idea of what is in the future for security around certification and I innovation. Do you invest thousands of pounds in a, yeah. a new video wall and then five years, seven years later, you've got to find out another 30 or 40,000 pounds to replace it because it's all going yeah. flop bot. They think it's so easy to just move a camera. I'll just put it over there. Sometimes it costs more to move a camera than it does to actually, you know, get a new one. I think events like this allow everybody to see the other person's point of view, which is great for partnership working. This all comes back to what everybody's talking about, the operation requirement. What's your problem? What do you want to see? What image do you want to collect? So BSI and the setting standards is, is absolutely vital because we must ensure that the evidence we gather can convict criminals and make places safer. And one of the most important things is when you download footage, yeah. it comes with a player that's usable on normal PCs. We saw this problem was going to happen, you know, we're on the advent of this technology. And if the police want evidence, it's got to be in a predefined format. Thank you everyone, a really useful list. We've got loads of things to consider. I would like to harvest this learning and start to lay a framework so that people can understand what's required of them and then how they go about delivering that. 